BricksForge version 3.0.4 introduced some nice features for Bricks, including the API Query Builder. In this video, we'll be looking at some examples like how we can pull data from a Google Sheet into the select field of a BricksForge Pro form. Now, let's jump right in. Here on screen, we have two examples. One is showing a randomly generated picture of a husky that comes from a dog breed API. And the other is from a pro form that shows the name, email, and nationality, where the options in the nationality has been populated with all the different countries, which are actually coming from a Google Sheet that I created myself. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I was able to create all of this. But before we continue, I want you to know that I already created a video previously showing you how you can pull in data from an external API using dynamic shortcodes. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So now let's continue. The first thing you need to do is head over to your Google Cloud Console then you create a new project, or you can use an existing one. You enable the Google Sheets API, and then you create your API key. Let's take a look. So here we are in my Google Cloud Console. I'll leave a link in the description that will take you directly to the Google Cloud Console. First thing you want to do is create a new project, or you can use an existing one. So I'm going to use my existing one. Then the next thing you need to do is you enable the Google Sheet API. So I can come over to the menu and go under API and services. Then I can enable APIs and services. It will take you to a form for searching. So you can just search for Sheet API. And it will take you to the Google Sheets API. I already enabled it. So I'll just click on Manage. But in your case, you click on Enable. Then once you're in there and you've enabled the API, the next thing you need to do is create some credentials. So I'll go under Credential. And you go ahead and create a new API key. So Create Credentials and API key. That will create an API key for you. Uh, then we can go ahead and edit the API key. Then I'll give it a name, maybe Sheets G API, or whatever name you want to give it. Then you can give it some restrictions or restrict it by websites. Then you can add the website restrictions you want. So you can say add. Let's say I want it to only show on my main domain. And done. Then I'll add some more. So you can add as many domains as you want. And this is how you create the API key with all of the domains. Once you've done that, then let me go ahead and cancel it because I already have a key. All you have to do is now click on Show Key. Then you copy that key. That key is what you need in BricksForge for it to work. Then the next thing you need to do is create a new Google Sheet or edit an existing one. Here we have on screen a list of country, nationality, and country code in a Google Sheet. And what you want to do is head over to the address bar and you copy the ID of the Google Sheet, which starts after the D slash. So you copy all of that and end before the slash edit. So I'll copy that. That becomes your ID of your Google Sheet. We need that when we are creating the API in the Query Builder. So now that we've gotten the API key and the sheet ID, we can now go ahead and build our 
API query in BricksForge. Before we go to the query builder, here on screen is how the URL of the Google Sheets API is constructed. So we have the sheets.googleapis.com slash v4 slash spreadsheets slash you now put the ID of the sheets that we copied slash values slash whatever cells we want to copy. So in this case, we want from cell, let's go ahead and highlight everything. And that is from cell A1 to C194. So I will copy the sheet name, put an exclamation mark followed by the cells. That will be countries with an exclamation mark and then A1 to C194. So let me go ahead and copy that. So the cells will be countries, exclamation mark, and then A1 colon C194. The other thing we might need to ensure is that anyone with a link can view the Google Sheet. To do that, we'll click on the share button and we'll say that anyone with a link is a viewer. Once we've done that, we are good to go. So now let's head over to BricksForge and ensure everything is set up properly. So here we are in the BricksForge settings page, which you can access by going from your WP dashboard to Bricks and then BricksForge. Then when we are in there, head over to the extensions tab and activate the API query builder. Once that is activated, head over to the Features tab, which you open a drop-down, and then you'd see API Query Builder. When I choose that, it takes me to the builder, and here you can create and manage all of your APIs. So to create a new API, you just head over to the tab that says Add New API, but I've already created one, so we're just going to be looking at how I created it. So I'll click on the Countries G Sheet API. The first thing you do is give it a name, which I've given Countries G Sheet. That will appear in the drop down of your dynamic tags. Then the status is active. Then we build the URL, which I will show in the description. And here we have the sample. All you have to do is replace the sheet ID with your actual sheet ID and the value with your cell. So let's go back to the API Query Builder and you can see the URL is https colon double slash sheets dot googleapis dot com slash v4 slash spreadsheets slash the sheet ID slash values slash countries, the exclamation mark, A1 colon C194. Then I've put a root part, but you will determine that root part after you've fetched. So let's go ahead and continue. The next thing you need to do is give it an authentication. The method will be custom headers. So that custom header will be referrer. And then you put the URL as one of the acceptable URL when you are building the API key. Then the next thing you need to do is come under query params, and then you put key and you put your API key in there. Those are the things you need. Then you can go ahead and add in some caching if you want. And that's it. The next thing we now do is fetch. So once we fetch, it will give us some data, but we don't need any of this data. Well, the one we are looking for, you need to ensure you get the data that is in the loop. So the data in the loop here is the values. So you just go ahead and copy that, and then I'll paste it. And that is it. You can now go ahead and save. Make sure you fetch again to ensure that it's working. And now you see it is fetching the right values. 
the country, the nationality, and the country code. And that's it. So once we've fetched this, we've also ensured that we toggled the create dynamic data tags. We've set that to yes. We can now access this in our builder. So the last thing you may want to do is you can put in some conditional logic and I've just decided to set it to be only on the page so that it doesn't appear on every page. You may want it to appear on every page. It all depends on your own setup. So now that I've created that, I can go back to my Bricks Edit page and access the dynamic data from there. Let's take a look. So here we are in the Bricks Edit page. I'll go ahead and create a new section. Then within the container in the section, I'll drop in a block. So that block, I'll activate the query loop. Choose the query and set the type, you will now see a new option for the one you've created. And that is the name that you registered your API query in BricksForge. And here we have it, countries G sheet. So now that I've created that, I can now start accessing dynamic data within that query loop. So I'll click on the plus icon and I'll choose maybe a heading So in that heading, let me delete the placeholder text. Then I'll choose the dynamic data tags. And when you scroll down to the bottom, you would get access to your new keys, which in this case, I called it countries G sheet. And one of the keys is the country. Then maybe I want to put the basic text. And for that one, let's say I want to put the country code. And then I'll go ahead and save it. Then let's go ahead and preview it on the front end. And as you can see, we have all of our countries. So Afghanistan, AFG, Albania, ALB, and so on. And yeah, one nice thing is that we can now use this even in our pro forms. So let me go back. I'll delete what we have currently. Then I'll add in a pro form widget. Let me choose a select field. Drop that in, delete the text area and every other field. So within the select field, let's give it a label of nationality. And under the option, I'll use the query loop choose my query to be the country's G sheet. I'll close it. Then under the label, I'll choose the dynamic data tag that has been created. And the first one is country for the value, same thing. That is country's G sheet and this time country code. Let me save that and we'll go ahead and Refresh the page on the front end, and you can see we have the country. If I inspect it, we get the select field. And then the option, we have the Afghanistan as the label, and the value is AFG. And yeah, that's how easy it is to use the new BricksForge API Query Builder. If you want me to show some more examples, you can let me know in the comments with the examples you want me to show. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.